Good evening and welcome. I'm Sheila Balgobin and I am, <clears throat> with a froggy throat, <laughs> I am the, <clears throat> excuse me, the dream detective. And I help you, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I help you to find the gold in the gobbledygook of your dreams so you can live the life you dream of. I was sitting out in the garden and I think my... <laughs> The pollen has gotten to me a bit. Sorry about the frog in my throat. Um, and I'm hoping that as the weather gets warmer, I'll be able to, to relocate and do my lives outside and get fresh air and talk to you at the same time. But it's still a little bit chilly for that. Tonight's live um, was the result of a, an unexpected um, contact from somebody I hadn't heard from in about, 20 odd years, 25 odd years, or even more. And it started me to thinking um, about the nature of, of revisiting relationships. A couple of lives ago, hi Chris, a couple of lives ago, I had um, talked about taking U turns and how sometimes those U turns are simply going back to where we started from. But occasionally they can be U-turns, Y-O-U, um, turns that bring you back to yourself. Um, and I guess this, this life kind of follows on from that because, as I said, I was contacted by someone I hadn't heard from in, in about 25 or more years um, who by chance got in contact with me through a friend that I haven't also haven't talked to in a number of years. Um, and they were just looking to say hi, kind of catch up, renew um, acquaintance and all. And it started me thinking about um, reviving relationships. Um, is that something that we should do? Um, is it uh, advisable to do? Um, I'm not always sure that, that that's the case, but I decided that that was a... Um, a good place to to have a look and think about um, is returning to uh, a relationship necessarily a good thing? It can be. Um, it dip, and I, but I think each case is different. Um, you have to to have to have a little bit of forethought about it, or at least have a think about it. Um, think about the nature of the relationship before there was this, this break. Was it a relationship that, that stands the test of time, whether you meet, you know, see each other every day, or you don't see each other for, for six years, you come together again as if time never passed? Um, those kinds of friendships are best because no matter how much time passes, you pick up right where you left off. And those are the kinds of relationships and old um, relationships that need to um, be encouraged and nourished. Um, now, I use the, the, um, New Year's, the famous New Year's song, Old Lang Syne, which is, um, I think, an 18th century uh, Scottish poem that became the, the emblem of New Year's or New Year's Eve. Um, and I'm not crazy. I, de I deliberately picked that song um, because of the subject matter. Um, I know it's it's the end of May and not Jan <laughs> January 1st. Um, but the, the song was quite appropriate because it's talking about should old acquaintance be forgot um, and never brought to mind. That's the, the first line, and most people, but either, they're either too drunk or don't remember the words after that. <laughs> but it started me thinking, is a relationship, old acquaintances, worth bringing back into your life? And to me, there were, I think, two questions that, that um, would kind of address that matter, or any other matter for, for that fact. Um, and the first is based on past um, events, past history, does, will this relationship um, be beneficial to you? If the answer is yes, then um, go to the second question. Going forward in, in the future, 
will this relationship help you to accomplish what you wish to see happen in your life going forward? If the answer again is yes, um, and you, it feels right to you, then go for it. Renew that relationship. Renew that friendship. And that relationship can, it can of necessity be with other people, but that can be with places. It can be with things. It can be a, w a way of thinking. So um, revisiting the past can be a, a useful thing if it was beneficial to you in the past. Um, it's quite likely that it will be beneficial to you in the future going forward. However, the con <laughs> the con um, the contra argument to that is, if for whatever reason this person relationship um, whatever it is idea notion um, looking at it at, in the past, if was it beneficial? Did it uplift you? Did it help you on your path in life? If the answer is no, then you might want to seriously consider um, whether going forward in the future that relationship will be beneficial to you. I mean, a clear example would be going back to an abusive relationship. Obviously, um, that is not beneficial or uplifting in any way. But it, it doesn't have to be, you know, a, about a, a relationship that's abusive. It could be one that's just simply not supportive or the person is just doesn't really fully engage with the relationship, um, is rather lackadaisical about <laughs> maintaining it because it does actually take two people to maintain a relationship. And if one is doing all the maintaining and the other one just sits back and receives, there's, that's not an, um, there's no equality or balance in that relationship. Yes, there are times in relationships where things become a bit skewed, where one, for whatever reason, may be contributing more than the other, but that shouldn't be a permanent state of affairs. It should be um, an equal partnership where, um, where the rights um, and feelings of both are respected. So I would put to you whether you um, uh, are looking at your relationships past that as well as present and seeing whether um, it's in, um, in your interest, it's, whether it's beneficial and uplifting to you to maintain those relationships or to go back to those relationships. Sometimes that could, um, that could be the case. And like I said, you just pick up where you left off um, and continue the relationship um, on an even keel. If, however, the relationship was, was not uh, helpful or, um, or even harmful, then it would be really wise to step back and, thinking about, and think about whether that old acquaintance just should be dropped <laughs> rather than <laughs> remembered. Um, because why would you bring anything into your life that's not going to be good for you? doesn't make sense, does it? Unless you um, really have issues with um, valuing yourself. And that's another thing. If the, if the relationship isn't one where you feel valued and heard, why would you want to be in it? Why? You know, people are leaving jobs in droves. People are, even though the rates have gone down, people are divorcing in droves. And why? Because they don't feel valued. They don't feel heard. They don't feel listened to. And so they book. They just book. They're just gone. Um, and maybe that's the proper action to take. But only you can decide by looking at whether the past relationship was a healthy one and whether going forward you believe that um, that relationship will um, enhance your life and help you towards your goals and objectives in life. So I leave that thought with you and hope that you found it of value. If you did, leave some love hearts, some thumbs ups, or comments. I'm always happy to respond to comments. And next time you sing that song for New Year's, hi Puri, the next time you sing that song, Old Lang Syne or New Year's, think about that, that um, sometimes old acquaintances should be forgotten. Take care.
Have a great rest of the evening and a wonderful weekend. If you're here in the UK, enjoy the bank holiday. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.